Uh, if so, then the next speaker is uh, Professor Jean-Marc Lemaitre, uh, who, um, uh, who is uh, currently uh, an Instant Research Director at the Institute for Regenerative Medicine and Biotherapy in Montpellier, IRMB in France. And uh, he will speak about the transient reprogramming early in life as a new paradigm to promote health longevity. Uh, so Professor Lemaitre, please. So, Hello. good evening, everyone. Thank you for this uh, this invitation and organization. Um, I will share my screen. Um, okay. So, um, uh, with my uh, with my research group, we are interested in for many years now uh, in uh, senescence and uh, reprogramming, and. Uh, oh. Cannot switch. Ah, okay, I will switch with it. Um, yes, uh, in, in fact, uh, in the last decade, uh, we observed in the field of aging a sort of paradigm shift, and we identify now probably for every every laboratory, every researcher working on the field that aging could be considered as a disease, and. If we if we would like to to improve the longevity, uh, an healthy longevity, probably we have to target aging uh, more than target age related disease. And the reason is because we identified many different hallmarks of aging of cellular aging, and uh, and uh, with these hallmarks we can follow the the aging process, but we can also target the aging process and probably a major objective in the in the field in the next uh, in the next year will be to integrate the knowledge of the this new geroscience into uh, the the geriatric medicine and to to try to intervene uh, into um, uh, aging uh, in general so my vision is that among these hallmarks, there is probably a major hallmark, uh, more uh, interesting to focus on. And we decided to focus on uh, two of these hallmarks a few years ago in my lab, based on the, the, this vision of uh, the cells. Uh, if we age, it's because our cells age. And our cells are submitted to many different stress, interesting and extrinsic stress during their life and they damage uh, all the time and, and they have to repair and they have to make choice. Uh, if they can repair, they, 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 they modify the, sometimes the epigenome associated and they, they keep all mark of aging, but they are still alive. They can uh, renew uh, tissue, they can replenish the tissue, proliferate, but they do their job uh, more probably more, more difficultly and um, associated to this uh, epigenetic drift. And there is modification of the gene expression and, the, and also of the, cell, uh, the stem cell plasticity. So this is what I call aging as deprogramming. And uh, if the, the damage is, is too, too difficult to, to repair, uh, either the cell uh, go into apoptosis and it leads to depletion, of the of the cell or stem cell, sometimes in tissue, uh, or she enter in this kind of uh, well known now senescence, uh, really deleterious for for the tissue when they accumulate in in, in aging because they secrete many different factor uh, in the microenvironment environment and really de deleterious uh, uh, to the tissue. So. Definitely these two marks are really a nice old mark to follow to evaluate aging uh, progression by the secretion uh, of the senescent cell, for example, the SASP. We can also find the SASP in, in the blood and, and, and follow aging and senescence. And also in many different tissue, this kind of epigenetic drift. And uh, clearly for me, this is uh, two uh, important key of aging uh, because they are found in many uh, different uh, age-related disease. And this is uh, this old mark I decided to, to focus on. So uh, initially when I started to work on aging, 
uh, we decided to, to ask the question, uh, is cell aging uh, reversible? It was a, a big question. And uh, at this time, we benefited of this uh, discovery of Professor Yamanaka, uh, who, who showed that uh, the cell identity is reversible. And he showed that we can convert an adult cell into a pluripotent stem cell. So it means in undifferentiated cell, then able to redifferentiate, to be differentiated or redifferentiated and into any kind of cell. So it, it opened the door to, to the cell therapy with eventually a rejuvenated cell. And my question first was, uh, is it possible to reprogram uh, old cells and citizen cell with this uh, uh, reprogramming cocktail of uh, OCT4, SOX2, Nano, uh, um, Caleb4, and CIMIC. And we, we didn't success with, with this uh, reprogramming um, uh, on uh, age cell and, and senescent cell. And in the future, uh, it has been shown, and even by the, the laboratory of Yamanaka itself, then that senescence was a barrier to reprogramming and uh, aging was a break for this uh, reprogramming. So we decided to, to, to investigate time <laughs> to find a new strategy, an optimized strategy to be able to, to uh, drive IPS, uh, induced peripotent stem cell from this uh, age cell and senescent cell. And so we, we, we tried another cocktail, the cocktail of of um, James Thompson, uh, replacing KLA4 and Seming, a potential oncogene. And uh, we didn't success uh, with this cocktail, but we successed with this, with the combination of this uh, cocktail, the two cocktail, making the reprogramming process with six factor. And uh, with this uh, six factor, we were able to derive IPS uh, with uh, efficiently with uh, um, from senescent cells, but also from really old cells, it was a centenarian fibroblast. And uh, we were able to redifferentiate this IPS into fully rejuvenated cells. So we demonstrated at this time that cellular aging was re reversible. And uh, because it opened the door to, to, to cell therapy, uh, we spent time to develop disease modeling from age uh, for accelerated aging syndrome and also uh, for age related disease. And even more, we are involved in a European project uh, to make a proof of concept of the possible usage of uh, this technology. Uh, to treat uh, the degenerations of the, the inter intervertebral disc. And uh, we are building today a, a CGMP uh, IPS facility to, to go into the clinic in, in our institute. But still, uh, at the same time, uh, because as you know, uh, cell therapy depends on the differentiation process for each cell type, so it, it's really long. Uh, a long die, in fact, and uh, in the in parallel, we we decided to to try to ask the question: Is it possible to bypass this pluripotent uh, stem cell stage? And we we develop uh, in vitro and in vivo experiment uh, to 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 try to demonstrate this. First, we 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 develop. Uh, reprogramming model with uh, uh, progeria uh, um, uh, allele or, or without progeria allele. And we, we uh, try to, 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 to induce uh, this reprogramming transiently uh, in fibroblast uh, collected from this uh, mice model. And we induce uh, by doxycycline the expression on the cassette of uh, uh, bearing this uh, four uh, Yamanaka factor. And contrary to, to what was initially demonstrated, if we, we um, uh, uh, force the expression of the, the four uh, factors up to uh, IPS stage, uh, we show that uh, with this short reprogramming, uh, we were able to decrease DNA damage but also senescence 
and we activate autophagy uh, associated to the short reprogramming. And, uh, but we didn't observe a, a shift in the metabolism as we observe if we convert the cells into IPS. So it means uh, Oxfox uh, metabolism to gl uh, glycolysis. It was not observed with this uh, short induction. But then we, we decided to go uh, uh, in, in, uh, in the, the global animal. Uh, first, we show that uh, there is many different genes uh, differentially expressed by this short uh, induction of, uh, of these uh, reprogramming factors. But what was uh, not expected, it, it, because we started with fibroblasts, we observed that by gene ontology analysis with these uh, differentially expressed genes, that for sure there was uh, one healing activated and, uh, and the response to wounding. Uh, but associated to these genes, we found also uh, some re regeneration process uh, triggered in many different uh, uh, organ, uh, in muscle, in kidney, in, 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 uh, in uh, even cardiac tissue. So it means that probably when we induce these uh, genes uh, by the, 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 the four factors, it could probably act on different kinds of tissue. This is what we decided to look at. And uh, initially we tried to reproduce what was published before because uh, 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 Dr. Ocampo uh, uh, in the laboratory of, uh, of uh, Giuseppe Belmonte showed that uh, with the a similar model uh, of project model and, and reprogramming model, uh, but uh, with uh, with homozygous progeria, so living uh, uh, half the time that heterozygous uh, progeria. And they show that a chronic induction of reprogramming two days a week during all the life of the animal increased the longevity uh, of, the, of the animal around 30%. So we did the same experiment on, on the heterozygous progeria to reproduce the effect. And we, we observed that uh, uh, effectively, we increase the longevity of this animal. And we, we try different type of regimen of induction. And uh, one uh, induction was to, uh, process was to decrease the level of induction, but to do it continuously during the life, not chronically. Uh, and, and what we observe is it, it's similar. So we increase also the, the, the longevity of uh, the animal of 30% approximately. And with this low induction, we asked the question whether one induction only was able to improve the longevity of the animal. So we started to, to, to induce uh, the gene expression of the reprogramming factor during 2.5 weeks and early in the life of the animal. So it means at two months. And we look at the longevity of the, the animal. So we observe really a still modification, but non-significant. But if we increase the, the, the level of induction, we observe that there is an increase of the longevity in old age, in old age uh, of 15%. So really significant. And uh, we also did the same experiment on non-progeric mice. And we also observed, even if we induced uh, the, the, the reprogramming factor at two months, that later we observe an increased longevity, even in, in, in non-progeric mice. So then we, we, we ask whether we improve the tissue uh, associated to this increased longevity. So we, we, we induce at two months and we look at eight months uh, the tissue. But what was really amazing for us is that immediately after the induction of reprogramming at two months, we observed an improvement of the, the body composition of the animal. And, and we, we maintained the, the lean mass uh, lifelong for them. And, and we also decreased uh, the, the, the fat mass uh, all, the, all the life of the animal. And associated to this uh, uh, body composition, there is an improvement of either the, 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 
the force the, the, by the grip test or uh, the, the more the, the, the agility and uh, uh, on the rotor test. And this is for all the life of the, of the animal. Then we, we decided to look at age-related disease like osteoarthritis. Uh, uh, and and we, we observed that even if we do the treatment at two months, later we have an improvement of the, of the cartilage. There is an increased uh, volume of the cartilage, uh, degradation of the surface, but also uh, on the subchondral region, we have also an increase uh, of the bone volume and the, and the bone sickness associated to, to, to this treatment early on, 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 the, on the life of the animal. And uh, even more, if we look at osteoporosis, uh, we have similar effects, so it means that we increase the bone volume on the tibia cortical region, and we also increase the mineral density associated with to this. If we look at the, at the kidney, uh, with the age, we observe that uh, there is a, uh, uh, an increase in the fractional uh, mesangional array around the, the glomeruli. And, um, and we also increase the glomeruli, glomeruli with the age. And with our treatment early on, on the life, we, we prevent this uh, enlargement of the mesangial area and also the, the, the ultrastructure or micro uh, architecture of the, of the tissue. And if we look at the spleen, uh, again, we have an improvement. And uh, with the age, there is uh, between the, the white pulp and the red pulp on the, on the, uh, on the, the spleen, uh, a marginal zone separating uh, these two parts of the, of, the, of the spleen. And there is a, a distortion with the age of this, uh, of this uh, marginal zone. And with the treatment early on, on uh, reprogramming treatment, we have an improvement and maintenance of this, uh, of this uh, 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 zone uh, uh, on the two compartments of the, of the spleen. Uh, because, uh, because aging is also associated to, to fibrosis, we decided to look at the fibrosis in different organs. We, we look at this on kidney, on spleen, and uh, as, a, as you, can, you can see that there is a decrease in the fibrosis associated to, to this reprogramming early in the life of the animal. And uh, for liver and heart, there is a, a tend to, to, to decrease, but uh, not significant uh, um, uh, in these two tissues. But what was, was, what was absolutely amazing was the, the, the skin, uh, because as you can see, there is, this is the same magnification uh, of the treated and non-treated uh, animal. So there is a, an increase of all the, 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 the layer of the skin in, in terms of sickness, and this is clearly visible on this, uh, on this uh, staining. And uh, even more, uh, we, we checked that we were able to improve the, the hair growth uh, after uh, after shaving of this uh, of this animal by the treatment of of, of this uh, uh, this reprogramming, and then we to 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 come into the mechanism, uh, we look at the epigenetic uh, modification, uh, and first uh, we we decided to to identify on the metilome uh, of this animal what were the site of methylation um, submitted to, to this uh, epigenetic drift associated with the age. And we, we did that uh, uh, from 250,000 CPG. And uh, for each organ, we identified this aging uh, DMS associated to, 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 modific to this modification. And from this, uh, aging DMS, we then identify organ per organ, what are the sites targeted by this reprogramming at two months, but also what, what are the resulting sites modified at eight months uh, among this aging D, uh, DMS. And what we observed was uh, uh, very interesting because uh, organ per organ, uh, we observed that uh, 
uh, at, uh, there is some site modified uh, at eight months by the treatment and the number of sites depend on the tissue. But what was absolutely interesting, it was that uh, still 100% of this site uh, recovered uh, a useful epigenetic information when, uh, when they are treated uh, early on, on, on uh, by the reprogramming factors. And this is uh, presented as an example uh, for each tissue. And Jean-Marc, please. More, uh, probably the more interesting uh, was that uh, this site at eight months recovered in, in, in epigenetic or full uh, information were not the same that the site uh, uh, induced uh, early on at two months. So it means that we, with this reprogramming early in the life, we initiated uh, uh, an epigenetic mechanism, which is not maintained, but propagated, and it restore useful epigenetic information on, on the aging depend, uh, DMS, depending on, on the tissue. Uh, it's, uh, this process also increased longevity in all age, improved body composition, tissue ultrastructure. It's also prevent uh, fibrosis and some age-related disease. So it's um, just to now to the last slide to, to thank um, uh, all the people uh, of the lab uh, who, who developed this, uh, this project and also uh, uh, all the platform involved in uh, And just to, to say that uh, uh, in my lab, a uh, postdoc position is available to work on, uh, on transgenetry reprogramming. Thank, thank you for you. your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jean-Marc. Amazing talk. And uh, so now we have uh, a few questions from the audience already. I will read them. Uh, you know, we have two pretty big ones. Uh, let me start with one and see. Uh, uh, the person asks, applying Yamanaka factors leads to stem cells being made in the body. And surely uh, these stem cells might be very helpful in general. For example, we know that all damaged um, uh, Retinas could be repaired with injecting stem cells. But do we have any reason to believe that we get young stem cells and not old stem cells? How would that be measured? You mean you mean uh, uh, the delivery of, of stem cells in the animals by cell therapy? Uh, this, is, uh, this is the uh, question? Uh, as, as far as I understood, uh, probably the person meant uh, that uh, if we uh, make the reprogramming, uh, do we uh, uh, create younger cells or, or older cells? Uh, uh, yes, with this uh, with this reprogramming model, uh, we because we show that we we rejuvenate the cell physiology uh, even uh, by transient reprogramming, and because we we reprogram all the cell of the animal, for sure we when we reprogram, we rejuvenate the cell. And this is probably the reason why we prevent uh, uh, age-related uh, uh, disease and deterioration of, of tissue. And it's not an injection of young stem cell uh, because we, we make the choice to, to, to develop a, a global strategy because probably uh, cell therapy for age tissue, age-related disease will be a, a big nightmare in the future. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, uh, let's have another one from the audience. Uh, I understand there is still no data by any group on lifespan improvement in healthy, not progeric animals. Why do you think that has been the, so elusive? Uh, you did show a slide on non-progeric uh, animals, but the effect seems to be tiny. No, it seems there is a big difference between compensating progeria and extending healthy lifespan. Also pretty big question. If you want to take on this, yes. In fact, in fact, uh, as you know, uh, 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 mice uh, live longer than uh, <laughs> than uh, sea elegants, for example. And and uh, in fact, uh, when we we work on a progeric model, uh, we the, the lifespan in one years. Uh, so so it's it's easier to work with. And but as you as you saw, we also develop. Uh, um, uh, this reprogramming early on the life 
on a, on a non progeric mice but uh, we, we we had to wait the to to see whether it improved longevity so we decided to 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 analyze tissue and so on uh, on the progeric mice because uh, it was a uh, 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 it was done during the same times. Even more, we were scooped by <laughs> this laboratory of uh, Giuseppe Belmonte. So, so uh, you know, it's. But we did it, uh, and we did it only with only one uh, reprogramming, because we we guessed that if we would like to go into clinic, uh, it's more efficient to make only one reprogramming. Okay, great. Uh, Patricia, you can ask your question directly if you want to unmute yourself. Yes, thank you very much, Jean-Marc. C'était très bien. Uh, just a question. Did you compare uh, your cocktail with any other uh, molecule, whatever? Because from what I have understood, this early uh, challenging is so strategic. So it might be that several other possibilities are there and that the most important interesting question is not what you do, but when, at what moment you are doing it. So, yes. you know, embryology is full of these examples. Yeah. Uh, and the very first 14 days, for instance, before that aorta generates the two arteries of uh, the kidney is a strategic moment in which you have this high stem cell concentration at the branches, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know perfectly the literature of this. Mm -hmm. So, why don't you study the moment instead of studying the cocktail? I, it's just a uh, just. A... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Uh, in, initially, uh, when we decided to to develop different kind of regimens uh, of reprogramming. Uh, we, we, we develop many different things and uh, and uh, one one first thing uh, developed was to to check the the the, uh, the safety of the this uh, induction and uh, we started at two months because this is early on and and we have the animal available so we started with this initially to see the safety of the animal and we continue then uh, with this because we observed that uh, uh, late on the life there, there was not teratoma there was not uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, cancer cells and so on and even more we, we observed increased longevity so it was the the first uh, uh, test we we had with for the safety that uh, that uh, trigger this kind of uh, analysis in the future in fact no, very, very interesting story. Yes, and then for sure now we have to do the, the, the similar uh, uh, thing with, uh, with uh, an induction late in the life. And this thank is you, ongoing. Thank you. Thank you. The, the last question is from Anton. Uh, why did you apply the treatment after two months and not when the mice were old and accumulated damage, epigenetic drift? Yes, the, this is the, the, the answer I, I did to Patricia. It's because uh, uh, initially, uh, initially uh, we, we, we started to induce the, the expression of, of the factor during a short period of time uh, to see uh, whether uh, there is a, it's, it was safe. And we observed at this time that th there was an effect even late in the life of the animal. And uh, it was the start of the story. <laughs> but actually, we, we have to, to do additional experiment. And I'm, I'm, I'm agree that uh, we have to develop this in late animal. Yeah. Um, OK, uh, so uh, one last question for Walter. Huge interest, obviously. So one last question for Walter, because we really have to move on. Um, uh, I have been developing for three years a similar program to uh, repurpose longevity interventions for use on pregnant women uh, and then uh, through uh, the um, uh, development stage of life. Though the program has high uh, potential and accessibility, it is not well received due to the overwhelming focus on uh, salvaging elders. How will you overcome this barrier? Um, could, could you could you precise the question because 
Walter, uh, you, you want to formulate yourself in your own words? Okay. Uh, the, so there's many other things. For instance, a well-known one is um, uh, HMB and AKG. If you feed, for instance, if you feed those two pregnant sows, this was a fellow Tatara, uh, the, 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 uh, the piglets will come out 20% bigger. It's huge. It's a tremendous uh, improve. Unfortunately, we don't know what it affect on age because they killed the animals, but um, but it looks very has a high potential. And I believe that there's many other ways that you can minimize damage during pregnancy and development, and, uh, and, and thus not only come out with stronger animals that might be us, uh, but also extend their life. And there's I think the evidence is overwhelming. But I can't get any traction because nobody's interested in something that that takes 80 years to come to life. Nobody wants to extend the life of babies. They want to focus on older people. How do you get past that? Yes, uh, this, again, I think uh, I answered to, to, to the question. It was just uh, the life of research. Uh, because uh, uh, initially we, were, we wanted to, to know what was the effect of this reprogramming in, in a, a whole body of, of the animal. And uh, we, started, uh, we started with a, a young animal, uh, but uh, for sure, uh, if we do, if we do a, a reprogramming early in the life, mm -hmm. Um, probably it's not okay. so interesting, but we 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 already uh, observed that it improved lifespan. So maybe uh, if we do that late in the life, it, it can work also and increase lifespan and, and healthy lifespan. So we have to check that. What what was what was uh, uh, published by uh, the laboratory of Ocampo uh, of um, Giuseppe Belmonte is that probably if you do something like that late, more late in the life, uh, the, the effect is probably uh, uh, lower. Uh, so we have to, to check that and to see whether first it improves longevity because we don't know that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, uh, thanks for the great talk and we need to move on.